everyone, Danny Boy 4 here, back with another video. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at two two replays, both from Sheridan platoons. Uh, me and a uh, friend of mine platooning double Sheridans. I know, broken. And it, it we got a clutch. It was a pretty decent clutch, uh, two v four. So I'll show this one here first. Um, we're up against. Uh, Pincer and RGN as well. So, too many Sheridans with good players. And I know my original video of the Sheridan when it first came out. Of course, it's uh, it's old because we didn't know how the Sheridan worked too well. In my opinion, is that the tank itself and the 92 are both broken. They are. The tanks themselves are broken. The missiles, on the other hand, I really don't think they're that broken. I really don't. They can be in certain situations and in certain players' hands, like his Royal Fatness. He, uh, he makes missiles look so easy to use. But the missiles can be broken. They are. But not all the time. Only in certain situations. And that's my auto the They're not... They're really not that broken. And I would not be sad if they got removed. But I'm just fine with them being in the game. Now the tanks themselves, they they do need to be nerfed. They are really overpowered. So here I'm using this ridge. This is when they become overpowered. When you're trying to use a ridge like this to shoot over, it's it's kind of ridiculous. But anyway, we're already down a tank, so me, me and MJ here are not not happy about that. So he gets a shot on him, the Sheridan. I'm gonna push forward, try to get a shot. I shoot the other Sheridan. And they're trying to go for MJ. They're trying to kill him. So I want to get ahead of MJ. That way, if he pops out, he'll have to shoot me and not him. Because he's already pretty low in hit points. But luckily, our TDs and heavies who are camping in the very back are indeed helping out. Uh, we are currently two tanks down. So it is not looking good this game. But both the Sheridans are low hit points, which is very nice for us. And I don't know how the T-54 Lightweight is still alive over there and why our tanks haven't killed him. And I do not know where their team is. I, they're nowhere to be found. So here we decide that, well, we need to push before their team comes up behind us. Because that's where we're thinking they are. So we decide we're going to push here in a minute. And try to clear these Sheridans and that STB. And now we see their E5s. So like, okay, well that's where their tanks are. They're going to push behind us. Let's go. I'm going to push first, obviously, because I have more hit points, and MJ ends up getting shot second. <laughs> and now there's a 704. And now this, this is where I take back what I said earlier a little bit. This is, this is, can definitely be OP and R. Just not all the time. This is when they're OP. When you can shoot them without having to show yourself at all. So I'm going to hide behind the rock. He can't shoot me, but I certainly can shoot him. That's, yeah, that's overpowered. That's what we're it out. It's, yeah, it's broken. But I still don't think they should be removed. I, I like them in the game. Maybe that's just because I'm biased. It's because they are overpowered. Um, or they don't need to be removed. That's just my opinion. And everyone's welcome to it. So now he's a little bit higher than a average AP, APCR role for me, so I tried to use HG, although he turned a little bit too soon for me, so I was unable to get a successful HG. So now I'm going to set up here. He cannot effectively get up here and shoot me without me killing him. And I, the, it's too short of range for me to shoot a missile unless I shot around, and I may miss. But I'm, MJ's going to come all the way around and take him out for me, so I'm just going to um, distract him. Just for a little bitty bit. And their glory um, went down. So now there's only one Sheridan that I'm really worried really about. And it's a 3v4 at the moment. But now it's a 2v4. So, and we're both pretty low hit points. But I have more. So I'm going to try to get the spine done. And the E-75 is right here. So I'm going to try to get a shot into him. I thought about shooting a missile, but he's going to go down. And I can't get my gun depression down. So again, yeah, that's, that's when they're broken. They are. In most, or some situations. But you do miss quite a bit with them. And I have not seen a lot of players that are really good with them. I really haven't. There are definitely players out there who are just ridiculously overpowered with them. 
but there's a lot of players that do not know at all how to use them. So there's a fine, a fine line there. So now they're lightweights coming up here, and I really want to get him cleared because he's he's a fast tank. So I, I'm about to, I'm thinking about pushing here, but then he extends a little bit too far, and I'm able to get the shot in. Very happy I got that shot in. So now I'm just worried about where's the Sheridan now, because I have not seen him in a while. Last time I saw him, he was pushing behind our spawn. So I'm a little worried about that. I don't really want to peek because I am a two shot, and MJ over there is a one shot, and that was a. Uh, Big new mistake by me. I didn't aim my gun up, and uh, yeah, I failed. <laughs> but now we're just gonna hold back, and I'm going to try to spot that E75 so MJ will be able to shoot him, and so will I. But he's going to drive in the water. And as you can tell, he's not the best of players. He is not doing what he should be doing. He's pushing in alone against two light tanks, and he's not even paying attention to the one he can shoot. So, I'm gonna push across here, and I do take a hit here, which I was hoping I really wouldn't, but I did. I guess. <laughs> but now that I see the Sheridan, I was gonna go around because I figured the Sheridan may be coming from uh, to our right here to come up and shoot one of us behind, but he didn't. So I'm like, okay, that's good. Now we know where he's at. I'm going to take turn my auto aim off here and wait, wait for him to stick up and try to shoot him. Unfortunately, he couldn't get that shot in, so I'm going to wait there, uh, and I see a missile coming, and it almost hit me. That was terrifying, but luckily the E5 drowns himself, so <laughs> that, that's always nice. Uh, E75 and E5 both uh, made a mistake, and up here, I'm going to make a mistake, and I should know better than this, but I thought I could get a cheeky little missile shot in right here. I'm trying, I'm trying, get my gun up there, and then he also does the same thing. So at this point, I think oh, I'm screwed. There, there's, there's no way. He's not a one shot if he uses the missile. He is a one shot if he uses the APCR, but he's not a one shot if he uses the missile. But then this happens, and we were both laughing our heads off right now because that was a that was a pretty impressive shot and a high roll. So. That was really good. We, we I finished on 4,335. He finished in 4,258. Together, 8,500 damage um, from a tier 10 game. Solo platoon carry. We hit point shared well. Awesome game. Really overpowered, but fun tanks. Next game I have here is on Middleburg. And again, we are platooning. And this, this map is probably one of my favorite maps to play with the shared one. And you see that hill right in front of us in the middle? That That is just a broken hill for either side, if you're in a Sheridan or a T-92. It's, it's so fun. And you're going to see here in a minute, by their first tank, excuse me, that decides to get himself um, spotted. So we're going to push up here. We're just going to wait for them to go up, because we can shoot anyone right here, and they cannot shoot us. So there's the WZ. This, this is when missiles are just broken. So, that's the thing. What do you do? You remove them completely, or you nerf them? Although, I don't really know how you nerf them. So, yeah, I don't know what we're doing. What we're doing. And then we both miss, because he fit the impact set. Now, this WZ is going to push up pretty dang close. Um, probably trying to avoid us from missing him again. And they are going to push for something. I'm not quite sure why. Wasn't very smart of them. But we're both going to stick down and switch to APCR, and uh, yeah, another 1100 damage. And the double taps are amazing. But now we, we own the hill, their heavies are in town, so we're just going to finish this WZ off. Their bad chat knows what's up, and he's going to run for it. And we're going to chase him down, but this is not going to him. Luckily, he shot MJ on me. <laughs> So now we're just going to sit over here and missile them from up on the hill. Although, uh, I don't really know how that, that happened. And he bounced aside, so RNG, thank you. That's another thing about missiles, they don't have the best RNG. So, I thought we were just going to sit up here and spam missiles at him, but apparently we're just going to rush. 
And he, he doesn't want to know us at all. He, he does not care. He shoots, and then he realizes, okay, I'm going to turn around. It, it's a little late. So now I'm waiting to reload, waiting to reload, shoot. So now MJ's going to come up, go back to the hill, because he is a little bit lower on hit points than I am, and he's going to uh, spam some of this weapon. And I decided I'm just going to rush to him, because why not? We, we were pretty much win the game. Uh, I'm going to push over here to Cap and try to clear uh, the ST1 if I can, if he's poking, or shoot the FE. But the ST1 does decide to poke at the perfect moment, and I get him taken out. Which leaves us on a uh, 5v2. Or 5v3, sorry. And now this bat shot is going to come and try to shoot you. And... Yeah. That happened. He was shot, I HE him, and now I'm just going to chase him. I told MJ, come over here, free bat shot. So he's going to show up, and we're going to together take this guy out. Well, unfortunately, I low roll to the WG, so I'm just going to get in front of him and miss him, which I found really funny. So, yeah, we pretty much won this. It's just an FV left. And we're going to take him out, and Jay decides to do that. Good job. <laughs> and that finishes us, uh, me with five kills. I uh, stole all of MJ's kills, so sorry, but I'm not. He finished on 4,465. I finished 4,244. But five kills, so. <laughs> and that leaves us again with 8,700 damage this time. So, in a platoon, these tanks are absolutely devastating. In a normal game with just one, they're absolutely devastating. But I don't think it's the missiles that makes them so overpowered. I think it's the tanks themselves. The missiles, don't get me wrong, the missiles are overpowered. Most of the time. But, the tank is what's really broken. And same with the T921. The missiles on this tank are absolutely broken. And the armor on this tank is also absolutely broken. I don't. I, the armor profile is so weird. You get so many troll bounces. But anyway, that's the Sheridan um, double platoon destruction. It's it's crazy, but a lot of fun if you're on the uh, level one playing it at least. But thank you all for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.